Hi, my name is Eric, and in this uh, video I'm going to show you how the extrude tool works in Blender. And the extrude tool is an edit mode tool, so I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode. And you can see up here that we can uh, choose between um, vertex, edge and face select. And generally we extrude with um, face, but we can also extrude individual vertices or edges. I'm going to start with the face selection and I'm going to select this top face here and press E which is the hot key for extrusion and you can see that we can just extrude by dragging the mouse and clicking to confirm the uh, um, the extrusion in there all right so there are a few aspects to this tool um, first like I said we can extrude individual uh, edges like this and we can continue extruding we can extrude individual vertices like this for instance and we can just continue to extrude like this and we can also uh, extrude whole faces and if we go here in the panel here you can see that um, the extrude tool here this should be the icon by default um, it's available from here as well as through the hotkey so I can select this here and I can press, let's see, let's go into face selection here. I can select a face and just extrude using this widget here. I can select multiple faces, hold and shift and uh, continue to uh, extrude like this. And I can create whichever shape I want like this. Just continue to extrude like this. Okay, so sometimes uh, you might find yourself extruding i'm gonna switch over to the default selection tool here extruding um, like this you press e and then you just maybe right click or you just uh, kind of lose your um, oops and there we go back like that um, the thing with this is that we have to be a bit careful because if i take this face and grab that you can see that we we can move it around but this one that i previously extruded we have additional hidden geometry same with this one this can sometimes be hard to spot this uh, hidden geometry that we accidentally might have created so in order to easily see this I suggest that you go over here to the overlay viewport overlays panel and in the mesh edit mode section here uh, just hit the center here so that we get a center dot on all the faces uh, this way we can see that if we have a, a dot here on a line we know that there is a, at least one hidden face here so we can press G and move that to um, easier explore our geometry and find uh, possible errors that might have uh, been caused by using the extrude tool um, in some way that wasn't intentional okay so I'm tabbing out the object mode here and just deleting this object shift A and add a new cube and now we're gonna take a look at some of the um, other uh, variations of the tool here so let's look at extrude along normals I'm just gonna take this here go to a top view with my number pad 7 and I'm gonna go to this tool here because I don't really use the widgets uh, generally and I'm just gonna uh, rotate and extrude here and move these with G and R gonna rotate this one as well so now we have some kind of arc here and if we go into face selection I select these press E to extrude you can see that uh, this uh, arc here will be uh, will kind of remain the, the same just extruding um, very rigidly towards this um, this uh, angle here or this direction but if I instead I want to extrude like um, like I want this edge to just continue in this direction and this kind of to continue in this direction I can use the extrude along normal and each face will individually extrude along whichever direction it's facing instead of uh, this direction this face will go like in this direction here so I'll just show you so I'll hit alt and E and go extrude face along normals and then just uh, drag my mouse up and down and you can see that uh, this kind of extrusion 
uh, extrude more um, with the, along with all the lines here. All right, so that's um, one alternative to extruding. The next uh, one here is if I press Alt and E again, extrude individual faces. So this is similar to just regular extruding. So I'll just press E and extrude here. Uh, we can press G and move these around, just right click to cancel the movement. Just to, I like to do this dance here to see what kind of geometry I have. But if I select these three, Alt E and extrude individual, you can see immediately there that um, faces are created in between. So we just extrude it some amount, we just select one face, G, and just move them apart a bit. And you can see that they are individually um, extruded. All right, so the last, um, the last extrude functionality I want to show you is, if you go back here, is this extrude to cursor. This is not extrude to the 3D cursor, which sits here, but the actual cursor that we uh, move around. So I'm just going to click right, left click here, and we will extrude our selection to uh, wherever we click according to our view. So we just go straight there from depending on our uh, view. And where we click, of course. So we have to be a bit careful with this. And you can see, for instance, here that um, this extrusion here doesn't really have any uh, depth or anything. And that that's a pretty common occurrence if you uh, use this tool uh, inaccurately. So I could uh, press here, for instance, and then like here and it will start to create some um, some weird geometry. We can also use this functionality if I just go back here and select this tool and I'm just going to select a face here where I can select multiple faces and then I can hold control and right click without having this tool selected and just extrude like this. Whichever selection that I have I can select more uh, faces like this and just, I'll just zoom out here and can continue to extrude like that. Okay, so I'll tab to object mode and just delete this mess that I've created. So that is the extrude tool and some of the uh, very common mistakes that people make in the beginning, like extruding but not actually moving, so that you get geometry here. And you just go here and Take this center here to easily see if you have uh, that kind of problem in your geometry and that can, that can very very much trick you up when you're using uh, other uh, tools to model okay so if you want to learn more about uh, edit mode tools there is a link to in the description to an article uh, and it um, i've written about th uh, 30 different modeling tools there uh, that you can uh, read about that you can use in your model and um, well, like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. And thank you for watching. Bye.